earthquakes, and disasters kill most of their victims in developing countries, especially where structures are built without reinforcement and more likely to collapse. Build change promotes the standards, codes, and financial incentives that make homes, schools, and buildings more resilient. <laughs> Elizabeth Hausler, please come to the stage. I grew up in a small town outside of Chicago. Neither of my parents went to college. My dad worked for 50 years building houses. He was a brick mason. So I spent my summers working for my dad as a bricklayer. I never dreamed I would end up here. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Build Change has helped to revolutionize the way the relief industry rebuilds houses after disaster. When the homeowner chooses where is the toilet, when they choose where is the door, when they hire a skilled builder, when they purchase good quality building materials, when they can sleep at night, this is how democracy looks after the a disaster. But the real fault lines out there, the tectonic plates that shift the ground beneath our feet that no one can control, can wreak havoc on people's lives, especially on women and children. This abrupt plunge into homelessness can expose them to illness, to violence, to trafficking. They often lose their livelihood. They lose security. We can't prevent earthquakes and typhoons, but we can prevent buildings from collapsing in them. We can help protect people like Maria, who lives in a three-bedroom home with seven family members spanning three generations in Bogota, Colombia. For years, guerrilla factions had extorted her to pay rent on land she owned. When we met her, she had been waiting 10 years for government support to improve her home. But it's not just about a stronger structure. It's about a safer place to live. So when we retrofitted her home, we also added exterior walls to separate her from the drug dealers next door. And now she and her girls have a safe place to live. But there are thousands of Marias out there, and we can't make change at scale without changing policy. We need the funders, the governments, the aid agencies, the homeowners, to recognize that it's worth investing $3,000 to retrofit a house that would cost $20,000 to replace. It's worth preserving that asset and saving those lives. We at Build Change, we like to build things. We like to see tangible, concrete outcomes. We like to work from the bottom up. So when we ramped up our top-down policy advocacy in the last couple of years, we, we wondered, are we going to be able to see any change? But we see the light. We had two policy victories in the last year. Both the Bogota city government and the Philippines Housing Authority increased their budgets for safer housing. 
We believe with this award, we can scale prevention and change the world. But we're gonna need a lot of help from our friends. So thanks to our team, <laughs> our government and NGO partners, the builders, brick makers, block makers, engineers, and homeowners who are working together to shift the equilibrium towards safe construction around the world. And as an American, let me just say that the only wall build change is planning on building <laughs> is one that keeps people safe in earthquakes and typhoons. Thank you.